Hello everybody, my name is Stratex and welcome back to Star Set. So last episode we finally managed to get ourselves some brand new combat vessels and our little pirate base here is busy repairing loads more that I've captured throughout the series so far. But at least while that's happening, I'm going to try and get myself some more money, get some more smuggling done and also maybe start looking for a planet we can colonize so I can make my very own pirate clan at some point. But for now, let's go and kill these salvages. I kind of want to just get some basic combat going just so we can... Uh, ease into our new reality with my brand new ships. Hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, oh, they got a lot of mechs, but I think we'll be okay. Shame I haven't found more carriers, though. We found a lot of ships, but not a lot of carriers. Uh, what we'll probably do, though, let's do a new control group because we've got brand new ships now anyway. Let's deploy you guys as unit one, and then we'll have the rest as unit two. Just for, not for this battle, but for other battles, we'll have like a regular control group. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's do this. I'll also deploy the frigates after this as well. Now these enemies, there was quite a lot of them, wasn't there? But luckily for us, these bigger battles would also net us quite a lot of um, XP as well, which is quite good for us. I really... Okay, let's do this, everybody. As we know, my new ship has a lot of guns. <laughs> I wouldn't want to mess with it if I was them. So I've got to keep a distance a little bit, though. The problem with my ship until I find the mod, I need to get a bigger shield. Because right now, it's not covering a lot of my ship. Oh, the mechs! Oh no, <laughs> the, the mechs. Did you just hit me with something? Did you just headbutt my shield or something? I'm not sure. Yeah, if I had a bigger shield, i got to worry less about being flanked and stuff. What is happening with these mechs? <laughs> They're like exploding everywhere. I don't even know what's going on at this point. Okay, so we're a little bit crispy, but it's okay, everybody. It's not that bad. So, uh, there's quite a few enemies, actually. Hmm. What we probably want to do, let's assign a few frigates to go and kill that hound that's flanking us. I don't think they've got any carriers, have they? Well, they have, but not on the background, so it's okay. We'll just leave the uh, combat as it is, and we'll go from there. I reckon I can quickly kill some of these smaller vessels if I actually get the hits on them. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. It's so majestic. Oh, it's hitting multiple targets as well, that's pretty cool. Wait, the mechs are back already? It's only been like a few seconds. I didn't even go back up to the front line yet. My point of defense is working though, which is quite nice. Oh, he's hitting me. He's got a lightsaber. What is what is what is happening? Stupid lightsaber mechs. That is definitely a, a upgrade for mechs, isn't it? You get lightsabers, you just give a mech lightsaber like the size of like a truck or something. <laughs> It'd be probably pretty powerful. By the way, I just want a ran very random comment. I can't believe Hacksmith literally made a lightsaber. Respect. Google their name, guys. It's pretty cool. If you want to see a lightsaber in real life, you've done it, guys. It's a thing. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm actually a bit upset about the rate these mechs are repairing because it's every few seconds. I guess eventually we will wear through their hangar's capacity, but right now it's a bit of a problem. Uh, it does seem that we have actually managed to kill a few of their vessels, though. Let's kill this mule. Why, hello there. Have I? Yeah, okay. All my guns are firing right now. Perfect. Immediately I go through his shield and now we can just start nibbling away at his armor. Perfect. The best thing about this hole gun as well, if I start hitting hole directly, I do even more damage than before. It's an amazing... Oh. Oh, what is that gun? Ow. Oh, that's a big gun to be fair. I was not expecting something like that going on there. Well, that kind of sucks. It looks like some of my missile ships are having a bit of a problem, actually. Uh, can you go and help them quickly? What we we'll probably do, let's assign a few frigates to go and kill that lasher. And we we'll probably also do a fighter strike. Oh, are you dying? Oh, I think the mechs are causing a bit of problem for us, everybody. The mechs are causing too many issues for us. Let's deploy a few guys out and about, though. They can track down the enemies that are on the flanks. I should be okay, but I'm a bit concerned about my old carrier being killed by the mechs over there. Definitely need to get a carrier ourselves. We actually have one being repaired right now, actually. So that'll be finished next month, hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> I actually can't control what order it repairs stuff in. So who knows when it's going to be ready, really. But we'll find out eventually. Oh, he's not going to make it. Dude. Do you know what I forgot to do, everybody? I have forgotten to implement the retreat on damage commands. I should probably do that at some point. Because otherwise, these guys are carrying on fighting. They eventually just die, which would be a bit of a disaster. Excellent. The new eagle's doing pretty well, though. I may have changed it again a little bit from last episode. I, I reduced the amount of flux it uses a little bit. Yeah, these mechs are ridiculous. <laughs> the mechs are causing the problems here. 
Where's the guy that you are spawning mech? Stop it, please. I beg of you. You need to pull back as well, friend. I'll be a little bit careful though, because the mechs are going to come for me next. Yeah, the lightsaber mechs were... Um, what if we can recover some of them? That would be the best situation we can hope for. Recovering some lightsaber mechs. What I'm going to do then, let's set a engage command with the two remaining fellas. Have we got no one else we can deploy? No. i got to say though, despite the issues of our ships being damaged and stuff, they haven't died. <laughs> so that is a buff for us. They haven't died. It's not, a, not like we're losing ships, they're just being hurt. Okay, so we've got to be probably kill that other guy first. Oh, that's not good. But yeah, we probably want to wipe out the enemy's big old laser guy first, because he can mess up my hole big time. I can't believe how fast this guy is replenishing. Ah, does this... No, it doesn't have one. So I was trying to think, does it have a ability that replenishes wings? But it doesn't. It's ability's damage reduction. So it just has a really good fighter base. <laughs> Luckily for us, we can outrange this guy by quite a bit, so we can do some damage from miles away. Um, they're not having a good time over there, wherever that is. Where is that battle happening? Oh, over here! <laughs> I was going to say, what's going on? Hmm, not sure about that. Maybe you guys should cancel the mission just to fight normally instead. We go from there. I want to be a bit cautious here, because if that guy's out of the way, I'm going to go in strange directions. We're going to gank this Sunder instead. Can you guys do a quick... We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. That sign needs to go. Believe, men. Believe. I might get flanked by the lightsaber mechs, though. Oh, actually, that's happening right now. That's happening right now. Be careful. That's so annoying. <laughs> we need them. What are they called? Vulcan EX. We need them in my fleet. Okay, I'm taking some with me like, later on. Fortunately, without my missile support, guys, we're having a bit of trouble keeping up with these fellas. Ah, we're in range, though. Don't worry about chasing. You go and do your own thing, buddy. You go and join that mission. Me and the Falcon can take care of this. You're too slow anyway, so... Excellent. Good job, guys. Let's finish off that. That Shepard has no chance. <laughs> he's not going to be killing anybody. Do you know what? He's got it under control. He can take care of that for me. Okay, so we've got to deal with the very tanky Mora now, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem by itself anyway. We're also, I need to make sure I have, like, the CR things as well. Not on the big ships. I don't bother with that on those, but, like, this guy also needs to retreat. <laughs> I do a lot of uh, utility mods for my fleet so they don't get killed unnecessarily. Even if they get damaged, I'm, it's okay if they survive in the end. Yeah, let's kill for these guys as well. I'm coming, buddy! One of the most annoying shield mods a ship can have, in my opinion. Makes it very tanky. There's a lot of us, it should be fine. We'll keep firing it. What's happened to the, um, oh, the mech, the stupid mechs, everybody, <laughs> the mechs, <laughs> ah. I think, if anything, though, this battle has proven to me that these are probably one of the best mechs I've seen, so, um, they are very good at killing everything, apparently. We need to keep pressure up, though. Oh, I'm, I'm living life on the edge right now. I don't care about defense. We need to kill. It's killing everybody. They, we can't defeat them. This one unit is killing everybody. I can't believe it. It's zapped. It's retreating. Oh no. No, 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 no. Wow. I need some of those mechs, everybody. They were insane. We're not letting you get away. I'm getting those mechs, okay? <laughs> You're not getting away from me. Uh, continue. We got some stuff there. We definitely lost supplies, everybody. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves there. That was a bit of a disaster. Oh, Thunder Wings. I love Thunder Wings. They're really handy. Definitely a good victory for us there. We'll take that. Chase them guys. Chase those people down, fleet. That Mora is not getting away. We're taking these with us. No nope, pirates. Back off, man. They're mine. You're not taking them from me. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Ooh. Does it have some left over? No, they got removed. Well, damn it, game. 
All I wanted. No! I can't believe it, everybody. My dreams are ruined here. So we got the carrier. I don't like this carrier. It is very annoying, but not my cup of tea, to be honest. I prefer faster ones. Let's strip it. We'll probably get rid of it and go from there. Oh, have I not got enough crew anyway? Oh, I should have got some more crew before leaving the base, everybody. Oh, no. I guess we do lose. Uh, you do lose people, though, when you um, take damage and whatnot. Ooh. Why, hello there. This is perfect. I need a tug because it increases my speed. Don't do it. Good. <laughs> we got away with it. Does this mean we've got maximum speed now? It does. Oh, that's so good. We've been going at not maximum speed for ages now, and it's been driving me at the wall, everybody. I like going as fast as possible at all times. This is what can I say, really? Uh, let's deploy. Some, let's get ourselves some more crew. Probably like 500 more, just for like long-term combat. And can I get some marines? <gasps> so I can. What am I doing? I'm gonna keep hold of those. We get some of those. We get even more. Marines will allow us, if we can kill the stations, to start just wiping out stuff. And that's what I want to try and do. Uh, this stuff, though... Do you know what, guys? Do you know what the game's telling me right now? The amazing smuggling paradise of Grim Bullen requires our raid, everybody. It requires all my resources, and I can get there in, like, five seconds. Let's go over and pay a visit to Grim Bullen. Though it does... We still need to sell a lot of stuff to the system around here as well, but it might be a bit... Of, Able to get to. So let's store our weapons. The Thunder Wing might be very good though. Actually, I'll tell you what, guys, I'll tell you what. What we do. We give the Thunder Wing over here. There you go. I know the Thunder Wing is good. We now have a very high quality heavy fighter and a Thunder Wing. So it should be pretty powerful. And also, with the speed of the Thunder Wing, it can chase down fast vessels and shot their engines and stuff. It's a very fun uh, thing, thing to have. Okay, uh, we took a lot of damage there, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. We like, for, Because we're a pirate anyway, if we need supplies, we just go and kill somebody with supplies. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's head over to the gate, though, so we can go to Boda. And we can sell a lot of our cargo and stuff. We go from there. Now, I have heard from a few people on Discord and stuff and comments, like, once I actually start colonizing territory, I'm going to be attacked. By a lot of enemies. <laughs> We're at war with pretty much the entire map right now. So it's going to be a bit of a um, horrific situation. But I think it'll be fun. And also if we can manage to actually keep a military base. And like get a fleet yard and stuff going with it. We should be pretty good to go. Oh, there was a raid somewhere. Interesting. Okay, so they haven't got any defenses anyway. We can just stroll in here and just uh, sell our goods. Now what was the stuff I need to sell? Not this. It was not that. It were Yes. Yes. No. We'll leave this guy because we're actually going to Grand Share afterwards at some point anyway. So we'll keep them with us. Do they need stuff at Grand Share as well? No. They sell these, sell these. A lot of selling here. Oh, look at the money, everybody. Look at the money. I'm not sure about selling supplies, to be honest, guys. I think we might keep it because we're doing a lot of combat anyway. We'll keep the supplies going, and we can carry on just killing people. I mean, that's already given us a lot of money anyway, so we should be able to survive next month regardless. <gasps> ah! I thought this was the other one. Ooh. Is that the gunship? It is! I already have one of these. Oh, it's funny that I found another one around me in the middle of nowhere. Surreal LPC, what are these? Heavy Horizon Intercept. I don't know what these, uh, wait, let me have a quick look at them, sorry. <laughs> I'm very curious, okay? I, according to the rules of this series, I can actually use, um, black markets. That's what we already decided, but anyway. Heavy Horizon Interceptor. Long range and high speed interceptor with nothing but missiles. Oh. Interesting. That is very interesting. So they're a very high speed, short range bomber. I can't, I kind of want to try them. <laughs> is that weird? Are these, in case the comments freak out, I'm going to buy these, okay? We're going to take them with me. Just in case comments like you just left the best bomber in the game. We're going to take them with me, okay? I know it's a lot of money. It's fine. Don't worry about it. They can come with me. I mean, go on with our little venture. So, uh, what do we want to do, everybody? I do want to try and find myself some kind of planet we can actually colonize. Now, I do wonder, if I go to... There's a screen in the game somewhere. There it is. Press 2. Let's go with uninhabited. 
class. Is there any randomly high class worlds? It happens sometimes, by the way. Uh, so there's actually one, this one here. Interesting. So we got a old world. Not much going for it in terms of that, but we might be able to use this as like a little base. Where is Barak? It's in our zone as well. I'm actually very tempted to go and see if we can colonize this place. So where the system it's in is with Diable Avionics, which I don't fit. And also Reparation Society. Fair enough. Now, this place might actually be a good idea to try and grab. I'm actually going to go and visit it. Let's uh, set course for it and we'll head over there. I was actually a bit further away than I thought it was, actually. <laughs> it's okay. I reckon it's... I just want to test it just for the, maybe the future of the series. If I do colonize this place, are we going to immediately be attacked? That's what I want to find out at any rate anyway. So if we go and give it a shot, I'm pretty sure we're not a war of that faction. I did attack them, but I attacked them while I was... Uh, untransponded, so they didn't know it was me. So we're not actually at war with them right now, which is pretty handy. Let's go over there and see what happens. We're gonna have a quick look. Quick gander, as they say. Uh, we Oh, I'm not actually moving at full speed now. Ah, i tell you what was happening before, guys. I reckon it's because there was a... Um, we owned the, probably the Navboy beacon in the system, so we had like a little speed boost. Oh, what's this? Uh... Currently decreased weapon recoil by 15% or increased CR recovery speed. Not really that useful for something like that anyway, so we'll leave that. Metals, nah, that's not a big deal. Let's remember from last episode, I only want to grab stuff that actually has... Oh, it's the cursed ship. <laughs> we don't want to fight that. Not the cursed ship of Volkov Industries. I'm not going near that guy at all. Uh, supplies, heavy machinery. Yes, yes. Why, hi. So what we got to fight? An elite frigate. I need some good frigates, so if we can capture this guy, it might be pretty handy. Uh, let's do an auto resolve though, because I feel like this is probably the easiest way of doing it. Excellent. Ship recovery. Not the elite one. Fair enough. Well, <laughs> my dreams. Is it that elite though? The thing is, it says elite frigate, but they could just call it that. It might not even be that good. Guys, let me know in the comments. Is this actually an elite frigate? Is it like the Tempest where it's absolutely amazing? Or is it a bit mediocre? If it's good and we see one again, I'll definitely grab it. If not, I'll just won't bother. Because it does cost a story point right now. That's why I'm leaving it. Uh, recovery. Loads of supplies. We're once again <laughs> firmly doing pretty well for ourselves. What escaped? I believe that. It's fine. Okay, so we're nearly there. There may be a chance that I can't actually afford the... Oh. Oh. Oh, this one's apparently too powerful for us. Interesting. Let's not go for it then. Let's just uh, do some exploration stuff first. So, apparently, what was the world called again? I've completely forgotten. <laughs> it was called something, guys. We jump in here, though, just so we got some distance from the rest of the map. Uh, Just go in. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so our base is next to Dibal Avionics base, which should be okay because we're not a war of them. In fact, it'd kind of be pretty handy with like trading and stuff at some point as well. So we'll make our way over there. I probably should turn on the transponder though, or we're going to get attacked by the border guards. Now, these guys are at war with, right? I think we are. A quick look. A... Oh, that's one of their worlds. I was going to say, it's a random world. Hostile. With a destroyed station. <clears throat> ah, I, I, I changed my mind. <laughs> Why, hello there. Okay, so I'm kind of curious right now. Can I raid? I, I guess I can raid these people. Let's have a look. So we can raid for drugs, supplies, organs, that kind of thing. There's no blueprints, unfortunately. Now, what I want to know, though. Invasion. I actually have enough things on me to actually invade the enemy right now. What is this planet like though? That's what I want to know. Um, planets. Habitable. Ooh. Not, it counts as, oh, 150%. That's the easier way of checking, checking, isn't it? It's extremely hot though. Probably not the best place in the world, but we can probably keep this guy out and out, out of the danger and stuff, but it probably already pays itself back with the amount of stuff it has on it, the world anyway. Interesting. I might consider nicking this. I'm not sure if, because I'm commissioned with the pirates, do the pirates get this base? That's what I'm kind of curious about. Uh, if that is the case, that's okay. I'm okay with that. I can colonize my own worlds anyway, but it might be pretty handy. We'll be back. We'll be back. I'm going to check this other well first. 
Oh, what's this? There's some kind of large fleet over there. Is that that trader again? Yes. Yes, it is. <gasps> it's the rare fleet. Apparently, this is run by like a big AI, and you can try and capture the ship if you kill it. So we have to try that at some point when I get some bigger ships myself. Okay, so... Friend. <laughs> We're friends. A brand new world. Establish a colony. I'm going to do it. The star system is claimed by Diable Corp, and the colony established here will be likely be eradicated in short order. Oh. Interesting. Should we just try it and see what, what can possibly go wrong? I'm going to call this, um... Portuga? Is that how you spell to No, no, no. We, uh, first off, I don't know if I spelled that correctly anyway. And also, I don't know if it's going to immediately die. We'll call it winter for now, and it might just be horrifically murdered. Ah. Oh, I haven't even thought about what we can call our, our faction. I've literally not spent any time thinking about this at all. Uh, we are... Oh, no. <laughs> Arg. Accord. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll think of a better name. <laughs> this is just to carry on the video, okay? It's okay. We'll be the Arl Accord. Let's see, what, what does the AI do? Nothing. They're calm. They're not pissed at the moment. It's not a problem. Now, luckily for me, that's what I was saying earlier about this. I can immediately just go and buy more crew. It's pretty handy. Uh, oh, is there any demand for these, by the way, while I'm here? The answer's no. <laughs> uh, what we should probably do, though, is get ourselves even more marines, just because I want to invade that planet in a second. So, I've taken over winter. Nothing bad seems to be happening. So we might be okay. I guess it might change very shortly, but we'll find out later on. So I do actually have money right now, and it seems we're spending around like 250 to 300 grand a month. So I actually probably can afford a building in winter, which I probably will rename as well if it actually does work out for us. Now, I love the flag. The flag's great. The flag's brilliant. I love it. Colony information. So currently this thing hasn't really got a lot going for it in terms of this stuff, but we don't want to build that anyway. We're just sick with like industries. Oh, I forgot we got the mod. Oh, I don't know how any of this, all these new buildings work. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> what is all this stuff? I have no idea. So there's a lot of structures to go through. I probably, what I'll do, now I actually have a carny, I'll probably read through all of this in my own time so I know what to do and stuff. Because there's a lot of stuff that I just have no idea what this is. Yeah, I don't know. There's so much stuff that's new here. It's absolutely ridiculous. I, look, all these buildings are new. For now, though, let's just stick with industry. So we want to get some kind of industry to get some income going. Um, so we've got Void Extraction, Super Comp... Oh. Interesting. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so hyped. Gather salvaging units by destroying ships and sustain them or by adding weapons. Oh, guys, this is so cool. I love this. So what... Do we reckon we should build? I'm going to go with something easy, right? We'll just go with light industries for now. It'll just make products. It'll be fine. Oh, maybe void distraction, though. No, we'll go for the easy one. We'll go for this first. Nice and simple. Make us some basic money. I don't think you can actually make this building without losing money unless you build way too many. So, nice and simple. We'll go for this fella. For now. I mostly just want to see what happens to him later on. Oh, also, this should be... We're a pirate, right? We should do a free port. There's no reason not to do that. Um, back to what I was doing. Oh, wait. Maybe... It'll be fine. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, because until the space warp's finished, you've got negative 35% axis. Negative 64% due to hostile factions. Not great. <laughs> Not great, really. It's, it's a bit of a problem. It's okay. So let's go over here, and I'm just going to take over this world of script. Wait, isn't this the place I was looking at earlier that I could have sold goods at for a reduced price was it the food it is that's pretty cool what we're gonna do i'm gonna be a bit naughty a little bit naughty i'm gonna smuggle my goods make some money then attack them <laughs> oh wait have they just got a patrol up and running something just came out of the station but i'm not sure what it was uh hi friend i'm here to sell you some black market goods congratulations ah Ooh. not that though we'll keep these fellas Ooh. 
let's not sell that either. <laughs> I don't want to go too far here. Okay, done. So what we're going to do, so I shouldn't have clapped next to the mic, probably just scared half the audience to death. What we do, I'm just checking these quickly. Uh, makeshift, accelerated growth, heavy armor, fair enough. Oh, what are all these cool looking things? I, it's, it's okay, we're leaving for now. So, transponder back on. Let's uh, say hello, shall we? Invade, mock. Proceed with the invasion. Now, someone said that I could deploy these via another method. Like, clicking or something? I don't know how... They said there was another method of deploying units that I wasn't doing, and it was a lot easier, but I'm not sure how... Ready to deploy. No? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> what am I doing wrong, guys? How do I quickly deploy units from this many to that many? Let me know. For now, though, I don't know how that works. So instead, is that ground defenses? Oh, I didn't realize I had them. Military options, order bombardment, tactical bombardment, launch attack. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't want those guys running around. That would have caused some, me some problems. So they've only got a few actual defenses here. So we deploy uh, a few feathers. Uh, we deploy one there. This does cost a lot of supplies, unfortunately, which is a bit of a downside in this situation, but it should be okay. We deploy two there. And we deploy one on the mine as well. What I normally notice that AI does, they normally do kind of like group up anyway, so probably going to appear in the same location, but at least for now, we're winning tactically in every location, so it should be okay. Abilities, fire support, uh, we we'll leave it all. Oh, do I not give bonuses because of my ships and stuff? I think we do. We be pretty cool. Anyway, let's just wait, shall we? Give it a few seconds. We get like a update every month of our little invasion here. Is that the uh, a fast picket? <laughs> it's like ah, <laughs> looking good so far. I'm also going to activate auto moves so they start doing their own thing. Oh, so it looks like they're auto moving anyway. <laughs> they're already doing it. It's not a problem. Yeah, because I should get myself some resources from this as well, from actually capturing it, and the ability to actually govern the planet as well. I'm not going to do that, but we should at least get some cool stuff. It, it's over. It's over for them. We'll just uh, fast forward until the invasion's over. Aha! Perfect. That went pretty well. Okay, so the pirates have actually captured this market. Awesome. And I actually have the option, I'm pretty sure, to take it for myself as well. If I didn't want to give it to the pirates. But I'm happy with the pirates owning this because they can start helping me out in this sector of the map as well. So that worked out pretty well for us. I'm definitely happy with that. Now, we got some supplies back and some drugs, but that was pretty much it. So not really much to talk about there, but at least we've expanded the pirates realm a little bit. And also, the hope is, if I do this, they may attack... Mock Morid instead of my winter colony instead, so we'll see how that goes. Done. Uh, can you guys get out of here, please? Get out of here. Oh, do you know what I haven't done? Storage. Drugs. Done. Now, hopefully, with how colonies and stuff work, that should have also reduced the amount of issues I have at my own one, right? Go quick look at it quickly. Colonies. Winter. Negative 34%. It's gone down, but did it go down at all? <laughs> I don't think it did. It's okay, don't worry about it. Well, anyway, that was a bit random. I wasn't really expecting to go and invade a colony and also set one up, but at least we're going, doing some things. What is this? Oh, interesting. I kind of like the idea of this, by the way. So I think I... We'll leave it, we'll leave it. Anyway, everybody, let's carry on playing the game, shall we? Let's head back out into the fringes. Oh, have I leveled up? I have. It's been a while, everybody. So I am going currently towards whole restoration so we can just repair stuff as we fly around the galaxy. So we still need another four lower tier skills. Now, I think I have unlocked this bit. Perfect. So we can go for reduced fuel consumption, which should be pretty handy if you ask me. Um, reduce monthly supply consumption, which should be even more handy. Or we can increase the amount of supplies from colonies. Now, at least this we need this score at some point, without a doubt, because it increases the custom ship and weapon production at some point, which would be very handy for us. For now, though, let's try and probably... Oh, it's always a question, what do we want more? Supplies or fuel? We need both, of course, but we'll go for supplies for now because it costs more money. 
I think, to actually get going. So we'll go for the supply consumption. And next time we'll go for the fuel. We'll go from there. I probably, before we leave, by the way, should pick up some additional fuel because we are quite low. Is there a gate here, by the way? No, there's not. There are no gates. Oh, they, they're, they're pissed. <laughs> they are not a fan of me randomly killing people, apparently. What a shock. Okay, let's go somewhere else then and see if we can get some kills going. There is a military base and some civilians over there, so that could be a good target. Let's go and have a quick look. I keep forget I'm at, I'm at war with everybody here, so it's pretty crazy. Okay, perfect, nice. So hopefully that means it's actually got some access so it can actually start importing. We definitely want to improve the mega port though as soon as possible so it hasn't got such a negative when it comes to access and stuff, but it'll be okay. I think for a while, at least, until I get some more money, it's going to be uh, not making me much in terms of income. Okay, let's go through here, shall we? I should do us privateered running. Oh, of course they are. They hate me. I want to get, like, a gate so we can, like, hang around here instead of around this location. Because there's going to be way more civilians in the middle of the galaxy than there is on the edges of it. So we've got to be a little bit careful because we might run out of... Oh, no, no. Is that big? Oh, that's big. That's big. I don't want to fight a battleship at this point. I haven't got a capital ship of my own. I'm not sure that big thing we captured might count as one. Uh, delivering food metals and... Nah, don't want that either. There seems to be a lot of Volkov industry traders, by the way. I'm not sure why they have so many of them. <laughs> They're all over the place. We need to probably... Oh, that's, a... that's got supplies. I need it. Give it to me. Smugglers! No, mercenary patrol. Um... We'll leave it. Let's go for something that actually gets us income instead. The shoe target, we do some auto. Do we need auto resolve at this point? I don't think we do. Let's go for. I'm pretty fast, to be honest. I'll deploy myself and we deploy the frigates. Let me go from there. Let's go, team. Team, team. The best kind of team. Up my way, you <laughs> hound. I'm busy. And they're dead. Yeah, I care mostly about the freighters, so I need you to go and distract that guy. And we have another wolf attack that one. I'm just going to go for the one that's getting away. No, no firing, no firing. We need to get in range, guys. We get in range, then we fire. Oh, it is quite fast. <laughs> I'm fast as well, but we will get there eventually. Do you know what? Ignore the damage. We can take the pain of mining lasers. We are a military vessel after all. It's so fast, though. Come back, man. Oh, he might actually kick out my engines. He's just hitting them very... We'll be okay. I made it. Why, hello there. I'm like, no, no, come back. He's going to get away. Dude, you need help me. This guy's getting away from me. <laughs> help me. I don't think it, this this freight is pretty good. It's got a good uh, thing to escape combat, that's for sure. Rim. Oh look at oh my god! <laughs> that was effective. Okay, I, we we did it. I don't think we lost too many supplies there. Hopefully, we got enough money back from the. Uh... Oh yeah, well we definitely made a profit on that one. <laughs> You can't say that was not a profitable uh, attack. Though I have just realized uh, our fuel is a bit cursed. Uh, let's uh, let's go and get some fuel, shall we? Hopefully this system nearby has got people living there. It does. It's Bola. It's my favorite place. <laughs> the best kind of place. Didn't we need to come here to sell goods? Any? I already did, didn't I? Never mind. Can we sell more goods here by chance, though? Never know. Uh, no. Can't sell those. I don't want to sell the weapons at this point because we can use them for combat. But I can buy myself some more stuff. So if I go over to... Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Map? No, that's not it. It's the, this one. Yes. The habitat. Hello, sir. I require myself some fuel, please, if you do not mind. Why do you only have 70 fuel, man? That's not enough to go anywhere. Ah, oh, this is a disaster. I probably even bought it for a higher price as well. Is there anyone there by that sells 
a lot of fuel. Yes, but I can't go there. Well, <laughs> damn it. Not great. Maybe we'll find a fuel dude flying around somewhere. You never know. Though it does seem we're in a little bit of a pickle right now. Do some uh, sneaky trading. Sneak, sneak. Oh, there's some pursuing. There's a hound though. Might get like a little bit of fuel. You never know. Yes, that seven fuel will take us across the universe. Hi, friend. Do you have fuel? He does kind of have fuel here. Tyrant Joe. Uh... I should buy one or more. I should buy one of these as well in case I get really in trouble. It can probably save my life. So we'll take that with us. You never know. Yeah, the 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 fuel's not great though, everybody. The fuel's not looking good for us whatsoever at this point. Maybe I should have built a fuel production so we could have had some of that going, but yeah, not brilliant. Without fuel, we can't really do much. There's this station's been damaged. Ooh. You know what this means, everybody? <laughs> we can probably nick it. It may be worth nicking. Um, Invade. It's got no defenses. I'm just going to do this for the sake of the pirates, guys. We're, we're going to make the pirate. Wait, what? Let's have a look at the market first. What has this thing got? What is it doing? It might be a thing I could use to get more money as well. I'm pressing the wrong buttons, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm messing up in every single way. So this guy has an orbital station, which is pretty handy. And it's got messed up from pirate activity. I presume, by the way, that I do not get negatively affected by pirate activity. Because I'm a pirate, right? Surely it won't annoy me. We're friends. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, though, so I feel like we'll probably grab this guy. We'll get rid of the this building. And we can use it to make some money at some point. Yeah? Let's give it a shot. Let's, let's take it. Uh, I don't I don't need to deploy a lot, do I? Why are they so small? <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, that was a quicker way of doing it, wasn't it? I mean, is this what people are on about? This is definitely a quicker way of doing it. Done. Yeah, because with this, I can uh, install Void Extraction instead. Because Void Extraction is pretty handy. Oh wait, so I just want to test this to see how this works. I've never done this before with this button. So I I have in the past purchased governorship of location, but what if I just do this? That's okay, whatever. I got an I got another station. It's fine. We we'll take that with me. Okay, so this guy's got a little bit of problems with access and stuff. Is that because the spaceport was damaged? Yes, that is why. Um, so I don't want this building. We get some money back from it, which is good. Instead, we go for void. Yes, so what is weld symbols? What is, is this something from, um, oh, it gives you a story point. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's so much stuff in this mod, guys. My brain. It's like, oh, what is that? What is this? <laughs> what does this do? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, so we're going to actually probably install the... Oh, I can't see it now. My brain, I can't find it, everybody. Void extraction. This kind of collects everything. Could be a good shout. What does Academy do? Increases the system-wide officer quality. Very interesting. Um, Because this would be a good place to set up a... No, actually, no. God, God, what we probably should do instead. We'll probably make this into a place that... Def rates. I'm trying to find it. Give me a second, guys. I don't know why I can't see it. If they change how it works in this mod, I'm trying to find the heavy industries. Is that... Ah. Oh, it costs a lot of money. Of course it does, everybody. I'm being stupid here. We can't afford that. <laughs> Not happening. Let's go over something else then instead. So I was going to... So if I make this into the military base, we're going to need uh, a patrol HQ. So that's one slot. We're going to need a heavy industry. That's two slots. And what else would we need? Maybe voice traction would be okay just to make some money. Because the problem with a lot of things, you only have so many industry slots in the first place. Ooh, privateer base. Requires two slots, though. Oh, that kind of sucks. 
This will stage raids on hostile star systems and bring back spools of war. That is definitely a pirate based thing if I've ever seen one anybody. <laughs> that seems pretty good to me. Maybe it should be fuel production. We go for. Let's just think about it for a bit. Let's just do a basic um, one for now. We'll just do void extraction just for now. We can replace it later on. Okay, so the problem with what I've been doing is I've spent a lot of money. <laughs> so, a little bit of problem there. Oh, we've also got a problem with stability. Now, hopefully this will kind of fix itself. Maybe? Probably not, though. Let's actually give it some marines and stuff to help stabilize. What else do we need to help get rid of stabilization? Um, let's have a quick look. I can do most of these things. Give me some supplies. Modify government strength by 25 from transaction. So I think how this works is some kind of like uh, UI somewhere. Where is it? Let's have a look. It should be like an important notice in some part of the game. Counter invasion held by pirates nine days until arrival. Well, that's not good. Um, <laughs> I probably should go back and defend that base. Let's probably make our way back as soon as we can. Do I? Can I get over there? I can. Good. Okay, rebellion. Here it is. Um, it doesn't really seem to say all too much. So maybe what I should do instead. Let's take these guys back. We'll talk to her one more time. We will dump off some heavy armaments and some marines as well. That gives them some kind of government strength. I'm not sure where that is in the UI though, guys. I literally have no idea. Because um, last time I played this game like properly by myself, like for eight like, weeks I played it, there was nothing like this in the game. Um, there wasn't like the rebellions and like having to do stuff like that. It wasn't in the game. So <laughs> I'm not really sure how that stuff works. Anyway, let's take what over here. Probably be a bit quicker. We we'll grab some more fuel from the colony as well. I'm gonna go from there. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. I'll turn it on. The money's gone, everybody. We are now super bankrupt. <laughs> but that's okay. I think we probably should have repaired. I'm gonna take the rest of them out, of course, because we're looking a bit dodgy with the old income right now. It's repaired a lot of the stuff. It's done a good job there. But I can't really afford right now to equip anything. So for now, we'll take these ships out and we'll store them to save my money. I got distracted by setting up bases and stuff. Sorry, guys. I got on a bit uh, off the beaten path, as they would say. So we'll dump these guys in storage. Oh, I forgot about you. Uh, I could probably sell it, I think. Let's give it a quick sell. Money! <laughs> We're okay! Okay, so. Store the weapons I picked up. We might need to sell some prisoners. I probably should do it somewhere else, actually. We'll keep the prisoners with me for now, but I need some fuel just to get me over there, I think. That'll probably do. It's not a lot, but it might get me over there without too much of a problem. I need more fuel game. Give them to me. Because what I'll probably try and do... I'm actually going to give these prisoners to a faction I want to be like allied to or have like a friend because they probably might save me from combat at some point in the future anyway for now then let's head over to Barak and see if we can save the Carney. where's the nearest point I think that one's closer despite what the game says I'm coming buddy hang in there There's a lot of big fleets around here. I reckon that's a merchant. Ah, oh, I really want to kill them, but I need to defend my allies as well at the same time. Tribute demand. Oh, no. Okay, so apparently... They want tribute. Um, That's a nice car you have there, Jack. <laughs> oh, no. Shame if something were to happen to it. Interesting... I don't know what the thing is about at the moment. So what I was going to do originally, I was going to give them money, uh, the prisoners, to make me get better relations. And they may not try and kill me. That was the plan. <laughs> Which may not work anymore. Can I make it? It's going to be a bit close. Where's the fuel range game? Yeah, we'll be fine. We're not going to make it.
Okay, so apparently there's some kind of thing happening here. There's some kind of invasion in a few days. Is that it already? No, that's those. Do you know what we should do? I'm gonna do it right now. Project. Reduced by 10, suspicious. It's fine, it's fine. Prisoner actions. Do that for a little bit of extra money. It doesn't give you much, does it? Friend! It's fine. <laughs> okay, let's head over towards our... Morad Morad station. Oh, that's where I just was. Sorry, I didn't realize. There's a battle going on right now. I'm coming! Wait, go forward, game! There's a pirate convoy here. Is there still an attack happening? Uh, where would it be, everybody? Colony threats. Invasion. Two fleets invasion in system. They're here. Somewhere. Is that them there? Because that'd be hilarious. No, that's something else. Maybe they've already killed them. You never know. Maybe the power of the pirates have already defeated the enemy. That's pretty cool if that is the case. I'm just going to do some... Uh... Oh, no, not that. Take some free stuff. Why not? Interesting. I'm not sure then if the pirates may have already killed everybody. It does seem that something has happened here, so I'm feeling like they may have already won. I guess we should hang around for a little bit just in case they... Assuming R's Grand Invasion Fleet. Where's that? Oh, is it below me? Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! But this is great. Diable Avionics are helping us because they must be at war with the fact- I didn't even realize this was a thing. This is amazing. Okay, let's go in and- This is epic. Okay. Let's do this. I don't really have much experience with this faction, so it should be fun to fight them. And we get to see the Diable Avionics super ship as well. The uh, Grenadier Wonder Ones. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm actually not going to deploy much because I think my ships are going to die. So we're going to go for the fast ones I have with me and they can just follow me. Let's do heavy escorts and they can just stick with me. Where is the mech? Oh. Oh, <laughs> what's it doing? Okay, this is the mech. Oh, it's really... Oh, oh. And we we'll never see it again, everybody. <laughs> it's gone forever. Okay, well, that was pretty cool. I don't think we're going to win this, by the way. I've played Diablo Avionics before, and I didn't know... I think, like, last, first time I used them two, two or three years ago, they seemed a bit different than they are now. They they seem to have a lot of trouble with fighting in large-scale combat, so I don't think we're going to do that well. Maybe that guy will, though. This guy is a unique ship. I think he's going to be pretty powerful. Just see what he does. Yeah, so we're going to probably do the uh, approach where we just try and kill as many of them as possible, and then we run away. Um, I'm not going to waste all my ships for, like, a fleeting battle. It's not worth it. Ooh, it does seem pretty cool, though. I wonder if this dies, I can come back and recover it, even if I'm an ally. That could be interesting. Get myself a free super mech. If I'm going to be playing as a ship, it'll probably be that one. <laughs> Look at how cool it is. Okay, this faction, I haven't gone against this faction much, but they are ridiculous when it comes to standoff, I've noticed. And look at, oh, we're screwed. I don't think there's a fleet that can probably kill this guy, to be honest. These seem like a very, very strong contender for a, a good faction. So what we probably want to do here, we probably want to go for battles where the enemies are like, on the flanks. We don't want to go directly into the middle because um, this is our biggest ship we have. Uh, theirs is um, bigger, <laughs> to say the least. Or, yeah, um, I don't think... That's, is that the biggest ship they had, or was there a bigger one? I think these are technically the bigger ships I think they have. At least according to this UI here, but... Let's have a look. 230. I'm looking at ordinance points, by the way. 285. That is a big boy. 285. That is huge. If I look at the Maelstrom, it's 235. That's not that bad. What about this guy? Um, oh, that's a lot of text. <laughs> if you want to read about this mech... And it's apparently its entire life story. Feel free to pause the video and you can have a look at it. But uh, for me, it's okay. 75. Okay, I want to go for these guys that are by the edges. And we can probably try and gank some of them before we head off. Let's go for it.
I reckon I could definitely kill these easy uh, these these ones here. Well, I'm a bit concerned about my fleet chasing me, but hopefully they'll be okay. Oh, I can't even block from incoming fire if I had that haze. It's pretty handy. Oh, <laughs> dead. <laughs> no chance. Is this the actual version of the Taylor? Oh, I didn't realize it was this kind of ship. Fair enough. I'm a bit concerned about them coming too close this way. Are you guys already running away or are you being reinforced? I don't want to go too far in here because we could get in a lot of trouble, but... Let's back up a little bit. Because uh, the enemy fleet seems very close together. So if you go and fight one of them, you're going to be fighting like three or four at a time. Let's keep our distance if we can. He's just going ha crazy. He's just going around the edge of the battlefield, killing everything. Oh, I really want that ship. Let's hope it dies. I mean, uh, <clears throat> let's hope it survives. Yes. I would never hope that it dies. Why would I say that? Let's, um... To be fair, most of the ships here are smaller ships. I think we should be okay, actually. We just got to be a bit careful not to go, like, above them, because we get cut off, or a point where we can't escape fast enough. How fast are their ships anyway? Oh, they're ridiculously fast. Why is everyone, every ship in the game ridiculously fast? <laughs> the base game ships moving at, like, speed 40 have no chance. They're fast and they also stand off as well. That's a pretty good combination if you ask me. Um, okay. Let's go for him. Is he going to back up as soon as I show up? Yeah. Let's go for the small one instead. We can probably gank it quickly. Gank him. Any kill we get makes them weaker in the long run. There you go. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, they are definitely using closed feet. <laughs> they are just staying as a big group of death. We do not want to get close to those big ships at the back, though. Let's keep pushing back, guys. If you can kill a tailor with missiles, that'd be great. It's looking good. Oh, the missiles got distracted by a bit there. I was hoping the Maelstrom would distract them a little bit, but it's actually right here. <laughs> if I go below the ME3, that's where the big ships are. I guess this map's big enough that we can probably make them go like this to retreat or something. My allies, in the end. This one's actually kind of hurt. Let's see if we can jump on it quickly. I think we got it. There's too many missiles. Excellent. Good job, guys. Good job. Pull back a little bit. We're like a praying mantis. We see our enemy, we move in, we strike, we move back out again. I, do you know what? On a holiday years ago, um, this is a long time ago because of COVID and stuff now, we went to Greece and I, I was at dinner and I went with my parents at the time and they started laughing at me. I was like, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, a praying mantis on the top of my head jumped off on the table and just started doing like a weird Kung Fu pose at me. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, mantises are pretty cool. It's... I'm not, I'm, not, not, I'm not surprised somebody decided to make a Kong Fu style base of it. It's a pretty cool animal. Oh, bug, insect, whatever. Okay, at this point, it's not looking too good for us with our survival rate, is it? So let's uh, get these guys to start pulling back, I think. I didn't have much hope of us winning this battle in the first place, but um, let's get out of here. I'll go with them as well. I'm, I'll be the point, I'll be the vanguard. Yeah, we need, we need to leave. We need to leave now. Can you guys leave quickly? Don't even like, just leave rapidly. Rapid escape. That's not rapid escape, guys. Rapid escape means quick. You need to leave. Okay, we're out of there. Is that mech still alive? Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> I might just hide in the bottom right of the corner and just watch the feed of the uh, super mech. Oh, he's a bit far away though. Yeah, this fleet unfortunately got absolutely destroyed here, so we do need to leave for sure. Can you not use your shield? Use your speed boost, buddy. I'll be in your, I'll be like your little guard friend. Let's not waste my navy here. Okay, fast forward. Let's get out of it. 
I think my allies are retreating as well by the looks of this. What did they just call that guy in, maybe? <laughs> oh, I can't do the same thing at the same time. Okay, let's just pull back then. I'm out of here. Goodbye. I got a few kills, though. It was the end of the world. Now, the question is, what happens now? If I press caps lock and I go and watch, can we just watch this? No, it's fine. Yeah! Oh, wait. I can pause, cool. Oh, this is so weird to wall oh, my, my brain! <laughs> How far did it just travel? It just traveled across the entire map. Do you reckon this guy can kill everything? I reckon he can do it. This this mech's a hero, everybody. Oh, no, we, we can't watch that. We can't wait. wait, wait let, me just, let me just put back to normal speed and we'll watch it normally because that's going to break people's minds. He warps too often. It's okay if he warps when it's not... Oh, it's still a bit j jarring, isn't it? I guess what we could do... Wait, go back to times two speed. Oh, I can't watch the enemy. Oh, that kind of ruins it, doesn't it? I think he's about to get killed anyway, because there's some big ships right now, so I don't know if he can take them on. Oh, sorry, she! She, she, she! There's a, that's clearly a female pilot. What is it? I don't know. I thought it was always an AI. I didn't realize it was like a... It's kind of like the thing from Homeworld, where they have like the person AI kind of thing. Not AI, like a person running the ships and stuff. Is he leaving? He's leaving. Okay, let's get out of it. Oh! <laughs> that was not the right button. Yeah, we're leaving. Everyone out. Everybody out. So we lost a lot of ships there, and they lost not a lot of ships. I think there's one faction that might be slightly stronger than the other one. Uh, I am leaving. Okay, one reload data because there may have been a memory leak. Let's get out of it. There seems to be a backup. F oh, never mind. <laughs> I feel like that didn't go very well for them. I'm actually going to stay around, though, because uh, I really want to see what happened. Did that fleet die? With these... The Wonder Ones. Uh, I can get it. Okay, everybody, don't don't freak out. Right, I know you're excited. It's okay. We're not gonna let this thing slip past our fingers. I am gonna take this ship, and we're gonna we're gonna use it. It's gonna be amazing. So, uh, what are they going? I gotta be very careful because um, they may try and get. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Ah, why, hello there, the Wonder Ones. Very nice. While this wreck is salvageable, it does look a bit different, if I say so myself. It hasn't got the giant glowing arms of doom. What, so the ship has been thoroughly beat up and it will require complete restoration to become usable again. So I've never actually got this thing before. So I don't know. I, I'm just going to presume off the text alone. If I fully restore this, get rid of all demos, does it go back to the way it was before? Or is it like a thing that's always going to be broken in some way? Let me know, guys. Let me know. Um, also, I may have already done this and knew this was going to be here. And I tried to use it in the... Um, Set simulator and it crashed the game <laughs> so just to be honest there guys it was a bit of a problem so yes i'm taking this ship with me and we're gonna repair it and hopefully i get myself a really cool mech i can use i might even use it myself because i, I kind of like the idea of it uh, let's just grab the rest of this salvage while we're here because we can get some free diable avionic weapons and stuff there is a an annoying salvager but i, don't, I can't really bother to deal with it and a draft vapor yeah whatever we let them just do their own thing High risk inv That was a big battle though. I'm surprised it's a high risk situation. Now I presume there's doom. Is there doom? Yeah, I don't think we can defeat that fleet. It's just going to kill the station. Uh, sorry, it's going to take back their location. That's okay. It is what it is. I didn't really get what I wanted in terms of like getting a pirate ally here, but I did get a Carney of winter so kind of protected by this die wave yonics which are all of those people and i got myself another place somewhere else as well i will think of a better name though to uh name our clan also people have been leaving ship names so i'll write them down at some point and we're going to rename a few ships here and there so we have like the r collective when it comes to our ship names and stuff but everybody thank you for watching i hope that everyone has enjoyed today's episode i did uh, i wasn't expecting this to happen i did start today's episode going oh we're going to get ourselves a bunch of new ships and stuff i was not expecting to fly off and just randomly create new carnies uh, or get potentially an epic unique 
Wonder ones. Although, i got to check something quickly. How much debt are we in right now? <laughs> I feel like next episode may be an episode of... Uh, let's try not go horrifically into super debt. Uh, where does it say about debt anyway? I don't know. It should say somewhere. I just don't know where it would be. Probably Intel somewhere. No, D. <gasps> Aha! Wow, that's really bad. Yeah, that's really, really bad, everybody. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like we may be in a little bit of trouble. Um, yeah, because I do know if you stay in debt for too long, you get a thing where the AI starts, like you get crew ban you and stuff. So we probably want to deal with that as soon as possible. Um, how much money do I have on me right now? Not money, sorry. Supplies. I got a few things here and there, but not really too much stuff we can really use. We have to, if we have to try and go out and kill some like fleets and stuff and go from there. But apart from that, thank you for watching. As always, peace out, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.